What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Earthmaster here in with a quick update here on this Sunday, November 6, 2022 date. It's about 4.20 p.m. California time. Got a uh, somewhat large flare coming in to the Space Weather Center here. Um, so far, maximum peak intensity in M5.2 coming in. Looks like that has peaked out. Uh, earlier this morning when we were doing our update here, we took a look at this graph here and noticed a, uh, an upward trend of solar uh, peak activity there. The sunspot is coming off of the area right around the northeastern uh, section of the sun here from one of the newer sunspots. Pretty nice looking uh, solar flare. I'm going to hold on to that image here real quick. Uh, it did produce a little bit of the blackouts on the uh, high frequency areas looks like over the uh, pacific ocean maybe around tonga and fiji area the maximum peak intensity there on the global d layer absorption map and um, pretty strong flare we haven't seen an m flare in quite a while uh, this could be a, a pretty good sign of some things to come again it looks like it's coming from 3140 uh, 3141 also has a pretty good dynamic mix here of its magnetic field and structure. Actually, let me take a look here. It looks like it may be on this bottom one here, which would be... Well, hold on a second here. Get back over here. Got a lot of windows popped up here. Uh, looks like it's going to be on 3141, so the bottom one here. The newest image here uh, does show that complex magnetic field picking up a little bit. Uh, I thought it was maybe coming from this one, but no, we got uh, we got this uh, down here really kicking up. Notice the closeness here of the magnet magnetic structure. A couple different spots there that could harbor uh, some further flares uh, in the near future. And of course, this thing is rotating into the Earth view. Uh, I think these uh, probabilities, kind of mentioned this morning, this, these may be a little bit on the low side. Uh, but uh, I'm sure the solarham.net folks will get to it. So uh, 5.2 coming from the... Uh, oh, wow, that's not even found. Oh, what's going on here? Click on the M5.2 and there's nothing there. So uh, all that was is just going to show the snapshot of the flaring, uh, which was coming from the sunspot. I would have liked to have seen it, so I'm, I'll be looking forward to that uh, image here. Uh, let's see, here is the visible disc. Notice 3141 there looking pretty uh, pretty dynamic in terms of uh, its structure. Taking a quick glance at earthquake activity, a lot of times we'll see some uptick in movement uh, right around the time we see some solar flares. A little bit of activity up into the uh, western, well, it says southern Alaska. Southwestern Alaska, I guess, is the... Uh, um, what I see here on the map, 3.1 at 36 kilometers deep. Uh, not a whole lot of further activity ramping up currently uh, following this flare. Just kind of like to uh, see how it plays out in terms of the relation between them two. But for now, an M5.2 flare coming from the area around 3141. We'll watch that area pretty closely for some further flaring uh, in the hours and days to come as these uh, two... Pretty large sunspots uh, rotate in the view. 3141 is pretty much lined up directly here if it holds together uh, for a pretty good shot at the Earth uh, should anything pop off here in the coming days. So, All right, folks, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight uh, with the update, Sunday night update. Got a pretty good low-pressure system coming in here to the west coast right now, kicking up a lot of wind, and we got some rain and some low-elevation snow coming in. So we will definitely look forward uh, to that uh, system coming in. All right, guys, catch you a little bit later.